a landmark election in Turkey, political turmoil in Venezuela. What does it mean for your emerging market investments? Stefan Mayor, we've seen Venezuela in the news quite a lot uh, in the last few days and weeks. Would you still recommend investments in that country? The situation in Venezuela is quite um, interesting, I'll say no. Um, Venezuela have always been characterized by its willingness to pay, and then they did it uh, until, until recently. Last bond was repaid uh, last week. It was, in, it was important. But now the, the situation has, uh, has changed. I think uh, there is some uncertainties on future political um, change and the um, probability of a uh, credit event is, uh, is increasing. So I would say there is, uh, we can still be invested in, in, a, in the long end or middle end of the, of the curve in, in Venezuela to, to look for bonds with a low cash value because uh, these bonds have a very uh, down, um, low downside risk for me. And even if it's a, um, a credit event, the recovery value could be not too far for the current value. So it makes sense to, to be uh, to be invest in this part uh, of the curve, but on a very, I would say, cautious, cautious way not to be um, put a big bet on such uncertainties. What happens if there is a change in leadership in, in Venezuela as, as Maduro comes under more pressure? The risk is that the new uh, government can go forward for restructuring. Uh, process. It was not the case with the Maduro administration, and this can change the mind of, uh, of investors. So is that the reason that you would stay in it with a very minimal investment, or what sort of bet would you look at in Venezuela? Yeah, I, I'm happy to have most of my allocation redempt last week, because it was, uh, it, it was something we were looking for. So a short end of the curve, it was, there was a lot of uh, value in it. But no, with again, with all these uncertainties, I prefer to be a, a small investment. Uh, we have still high coupons, interesting to, to be in, but not to be too, uh, too loaded. What about Turkey is another country which we've been seeing in the news an enormous amount. And of course, with, with the recent election, has anything changed in terms of the attractivity of Turkish bonds, either corporate or sovereign paper? Yes, there is a lot of news around the last two years about uh, on Turkey, and it changed the situation of, uh, of Turkish assets, I would say. Uh, Turkish bonds was very expensive before. It was not so interesting to be, to be invested in, because uh, yield, to yield to maturity was very low. And after all the political um, noise around uh, Erdogan and uh, the political landscape change uh, uh, in Turkey, assets become more, more attractive. And uh, so we decided to put, uh, to put a feet on it, a toes on it, just to be invested in, uh, in Turkey. It's not so attractive, but it's, it's, it's more attractive than before. So it's, in terms of div diversification, it's, uh, it's, it makes sense to, to be in. Is, the, uh, is Erdogan a threat at all to the, the corporate bond market? The fact of Erdogan, um, not really for the bond market. Uh, even the more power change in, in end or more, more presidential uh, power for, for Erdogan will not change for me the structure of the, of the risk of the bond market in Turkey. We stay in a defensive position, more, more bank or big holding company in Turkey. and. Uh, it will not change the situation of these bonds. What about overall in some of these emerging markets? What are kind of the larger factors that investors need to think about before they make investments in places like these? Large factor uh, undermined the investor in, in the emerging market as uh, I would say freer, there are three major factors. First is the commodities, for sure. Everybody is looking at the uh, emerging market like uh, Community producer, so evolution of commodity is very important. Uh, evolution of dollar as well. The so dollar, if the dollar is too strong, is damageable for all emerging market assets. And um, interest rate in US is also a very important point. If there is a sudden uh, hike in monetary policy in US, could be 
um, disturbing for emerging market, I would say. Excellent. So attractive, but a few cautionary words. Sure, yeah. Thank you very much, Stefan Mayo, for those very interesting views on emerging markets. You're welcome. Thank you. And that was Fin News TV in cooperation with Dukaskafi TV. Please join us next time.